Here we go with uh, a wonderful unboxing. Took one of these babies up here, stored it right from right from Acer. It is a 21.5 inch Android powered desktop all-in-one touch and play media, etc. 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 Android powered touch screen, 21.5 inch, which is pretty big. Too big to be a tablet, yet it performs and acts and runs much like a tablet. Uh, let's see, it's full HD, which is nice, 1920 by 1080. Touchscreen, Android powered. 8 gigs of uh, built-in storage, 1 gig of RAM. So 8 gigs of ROM, 1 gig of RAM. It has two USB 2.0 ports, one USB to go, whatever the heck that is. And the nice thing about this is it also doubles as a, a touchscreen monitor on the side there, the micro HDMI. So you can plug it into your laptop or desktop and you've got a touchscreen computer. Way cool. And it comes with a wireless keyboard, wireless mouse. And this is just the outside. I mean, I haven't broken into the darn thing yet at all. It's big. I have an Acer all-in-one computer, but it's, uh, it's a Windows-powered thing. Graphics aren't great, but, I mean, it's fully featured. One terabyte drive, hard drive. Lots of RAM, which I use as my server. This, well, this is going to replace my 10-inch tablet and probably my netbook. Anybody want to buy a netbook? Or a 10-inch tablet? Well, let's get on with it then. First thing you see when you open up the box, how to turn it on in three languages. How to put the batteries in the mouse, how to plug the dongle into the side of the unit. I've seen reviews on this thing where people didn't know that the mouse and the keyboard are not Bluetooth, they are USB. So you have to plug the dongle into the side of the unit. Okay, lots of packaging. Give me an empty box. Oop. USB cable. Micro USB. Power brick. Power cord. Plug into the power brick, naturally. And, oh, it comes with a micro HDMI to standard size HDMI. Coolness. It's complete. Woohoo! Bubble wrap. <clears throat> Comes with the batteries. One double A, two triple A's. Double A's probably for the mouse, triple A's for the keyboard. It's your standard basic three wheel, three wheel, three button scrolly wheel. Wireless mouse. Not full-size keyboard, a number pad. Ooh, that lighting is harsh. I have to turn it off. There we go. Media keys along the top. Battery low indicator. Eh. Android specific keys probably. Email, web, and calendar looks like. Mm. It is what it is. Oh, yes, the instructions. It's all warranty in 16 different languages. Certainly 
no shortage of packaging here. Stand, kickstand. Insert your favorite kick, kickstand joke here. There it is. It's big. It is a monstrosity. Oh look, a reflection of my rigging. So right now it's propped up on its own prop stand here. It's glossy. Got the glossy plastic. Never keep the fingerprints off it. Oh, that's very satisfying. Peeling off that protective plastic. It's still his own, I guess. I don't have a garbage can. Right. And there it is, I guess. Some of the reviews I've seen, there's a funky swirl circular pattern here so now I see that it's not there so I guess maybe enough people complained about not liking it the speakers are in here and there's your power button now it doesn't have batteries so you can't charge it up and take it to go but then again it's not really portable I mean oh, you can't see me I can't get down low enough Ginormous. It's a touch screen. Get the plastic off of this thing. Oh, plastic. Built in webcam, which apparently doesn't work when it's plugged in as a monitor. Where's the webcam? Where are you? There it is. Webcam doesn't work when you plug it in as a monitor, but then, you know, the computer's got a webcam. It's only 1.3 megapixels, so it's not high-end stuff. Oh. Yeah. But this panel doesn't have the those circles. A lot of people didn't like it. I guess they listen to their critics, their reviewers. Shiny glossy. This lays quite a quite an angle. size tablet. Big sucker. You can get this thing put together and plugged in and get right back to it. Stay tuned. Give you a once over the device here. Let's start on the side here. I've got it face down on the desk right now. What we have on the side here is the micro HDMI and the Headphone. This will be on the left side of the screen as you're facing it. There's a little cover on the back here. Pop that out. And inside there, you'll find your power and Ethernet. Wired internet, not wireless, but hey, you can plug it directly into the into your network. And then the power. And on the other side here. You see it? Micro HDMI. 
and the uh, micro SD slot. So it has two HDMI ports. Perhaps one is in, one is out, or or maybe this one is a this is a USB. Oh, this one here is a micro. Micro mini. Come on, focus, camera, focus. Get with the program, camera. It is USB to go. Whatever the heck that is. There we go. That's not the HDMI. HDMI ports on the back, inside the back here. And on the side here, the right side, two USB 2.0 ports. Got the uh, dongle for the keyboard and mouse in there. Both devices use one thing, so that's not bad. I do have a Logitech keyboard with a touchpad on it. I might use it with this. Fewer devices to screw around with. The requisite Kensington lock. Every device has those. And, well, it's just black. Rough texture on the back here. Shiny here. You'll never get the fingerprints off. Keep the fingerprints off. Ooh. My upside down. Place. <laughs> Place. I can't even think of the word. Anyways. Studio. That's the word. So. There are the features of the physical features of the device. So exterior. Now I'm going to read the instructions a little bit, plug her in and fire her up, get her set up, and we'll come back. Stay tuned. All right, here it is. I've done most of the updates. There is a system update that needs to be done. But it's your basic touchscreen Android device. Oops. Three home screens, four home screens. If you're familiar with Android and Android devices, then you know it's pretty straightforward stuff. I I love this live wallpaper. <laughs> it's called Nexus. Stop doing that. That's so neat. Anyways, uh, it does have Wi-Fi. I'm surprised. Um, I thought it didn't because it had the Ethernet plug in there. I didn't think it had uh, Wi-Fi, but it does have Wi-Fi. It's everything a tablet is and then some. Uh, this little thing here, this is a, an Acer thing called the Ring. Uh, I don't think I'd use it. It looks weird. But it's got your popular stuff right here. Search, browser, screenshot, gallery, settings. You can turn that ring off. And I've tried the keyboard and mouse. They both work. It's just strange using a, an Android device with a pointer. I don't know if you can see that or not. there on the weather anyways it's just weird using a mouse and keyboard with well not a keyboard but a mouse anyways with android then all the updates except the uh, there's a system update available so all the uh, all the apps are updated i get to try it with the computer because well i'm down in my studio right now rather than up with my computer so I can see getting a lot of use out of this. I think we'll all get used to the uh, touch, touch, touch. <laughs> like you touch the screen, something's going to happen. Uh, it's got an on-screen display. So when you want to do uh, use it with a computer, you just touch the HDMI. So it's got a couple of extra Gigi gadgets that 
well, some Android devices don't have, but there you have it. It is called DA220HQL. Let me get this in the screen here. DA220HQL. Comes with a disc, but that's just manuals, the more in depth manual. user manual, quick start guide, acrobat reader, and register your product. So it doesn't need to, uh, as, to use it as a monitor, it does not need drivers apparently. This Windows has built in drivers for it. And there you have it. It comes with everything you need to get up and running and started. And that's pretty much all I have to say as time goes by and I Learn my way around it. I'll get back to you with updates and things, but so far so good. I like the fact that you can tilt the sucker way back and do your thing with it. And everything's big. You can see it. It's not like a 7 inch or 10 inch tablet. This is a 21.5 inch tablet. And for those of you who feel compelled to ask, no, it will not play Minecraft. It is an Android device. It has a dual core processor, but it does not have the power to run Minecraft. Because it's not a computer. It is an oversized tablet. I'm pretty sure there is a tablet version of Minecraft, but it's one of the first things People ask on, on the reviews, does it play Minecraft? No, it does not. I love the screen. Live stream. I'll get tired of it eventually. <laughs> so there you have it. There's my unboxing and review of the Acer DA220HQL 21.5 inch Android powered desktop all-in-one slash monitor.